Good morning from another beautiful day here in Cambodia, Siem Reap. Today's mission is Angkor Wat. If you haven't heard of it, what are you doing? <laughs> it's the biggest thing in Cambodia, I'm sure. But um, yeah, we've come in down to the uh, hotel reception. We've hit up the, uh, the hotelier and he has organized us a tuk-tuk. The tuk-tuk driver will organize our tickets to the uh, to Angkor Wat and take us there. You can't buy the tickets at Angkor Wat. Mm. You have to buy them beforehand um, and they're in a separate little sort of ticket place. Yeah, so the price for the tuk-tuk for the two of us is 72,000 real which is about 16 American dollars, including the, um, the, the ticket, taking us to get the ticket and then yep. taking us to Angkor Wat. Um, it's always good to go through hotels. If you're staying at a good hotel, I'd say it's good to go through the people at the front counter because they're more likely going to be trustworthy uh, mm. and they're going to get you a good, um, a good tuk-tuk driver who's not going to try do anything dodgy with you. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's multiple day passes available for Angkor Wat. Uh, you can get a one day, a two day, and I think if you get a two day, you get a third day free. But uh, for us, we're just gonna do the one day, mm. see how it goes. Who knows, we may be back there, but um, there's plenty of things to see and see and reap, so first things first is Angkor Wat, and then after that, who knows? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have hey, a good day. Hey, how are you? Hey, yeah. yeah. It's not tuk tuk, Ramok? Yeah, Ramok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tuk -tuk. Normally yeah. we call tuk tuk. Yep, yeah. okay. Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk. It's better than Ramok. It's better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so easier. Alright, yeah. we'll see you later. Okay, ticket secured at the uh, ticket selling place. We'll have to find out exactly what it's called. It's not at Angkor Wat. Um, you get yourself a little ticket. Uh, total cost for us was 375,000 real. So I think that's about, whoo, I'll put it on screen so I know exactly how much that is. But uh, it's not particularly cheap, but uh, to be honest, the size of the, uh, the size of the temple and the surrounding areas is massive. They're selling three-day passes, mm. so that gives you an idea of the scope of it. This is our ticket, and you get a little photo on there as well, so yeah. that's great. Great little souvenir. I'll show you Sarah's. <laughs> Looking like a stum mullet, <laughs> aren't we both? But yeah, so now we head over back to the tuk-tuk driver He's going to meet us in the car park and from there we travel to Angkor Wat and we get to see what it's all about. Looks pretty busy. Okay, so here we are. Angkor Wat, just being dropped off by the uh, tuk-tuk driver. who's gonna wait for us and uh, take us back to the hotel. Right out here took about uh, 10 minutes on, this, uh, on the tuk-tuk from the ticket office. Uh, and based on the car park, it looks like it's pretty darn busy. Yeah but uh, it is a huge place, so there's plenty of uh, room for everyone to coexist. Yeah. But yeah, let's go walk through, check it out, and see what makes it so special. We've 
we've just walked in the door, so to speak, and the uh, the sheer size of the area is just, it's crazy. Yeah, it's um, incredible. Like, we've seen photos, we've seen videos of it, but once they actually get here and see, like, the true scope of it, it is pretty f amazing. Yeah. And as I said, we've just come in the front door, so there's many to explore. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so far, exceeding expectations. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, can't wait to see some more. Yeah. So the crazy thing is, you come out of that uh, huge, huge building, you're like, okay, there it is. And then you look through, and then there's an even bigger one. Mm. And you're like, my God, mm -hmm. this is a big place. It's so steep, and the good thing is, the metal or the railings are made of metal sitting in the hot sun. So, that's a good one. So yeah, we're uh, we're pretty fit, but uh, took the wind out of you. Yeah, that's for sure. I did. Definitely worth it though. These views are 10 out of 10. Both the temples and the lush green landscape. We've got a panoramic 360 degree view here, so we'll walk around and see what we can see. But yeah, we'll just get our breath back first. So we've just been thinking about it and um, you know when you come to CM Reap, Angkor Wat's always you know the number one place to go. Yeah. Um, we've been to a few other tourist attractions in our life you know I've seen the Eiffel Tower did nothing for me uh, not a not a statue or anything but uh, going to Changu mm. uh, that was a big disappointment but um, coming here to Angkor Wat it is legit you have to see it just the sheer yeah. size the intricacy of the buildings and the history behind it yep um is just it's one of those things that you have to see there's yeah. a reason it's one of the modern wonders of the world it's impossible to capture it on camera mm, yeah. um like it just doesn't do it justice at all like the sheer just, size of it eh? yeah it's huge it's beautiful it's peaceful and quiet because Cambodian people are respectful of their temples and stuff and yeah I don't know it's just it's, yeah. it's really good yeah and as well because it's so large um, you can have like thousands of people here yet you can just be finding yourself alone for extended periods of time mm. which is really nice to be able to just actually 
take things in at your own time, mm. check things out without people in the way, yep. get yourself an Instagram photo if that's what you're into. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's honestly, it's just like a, a crazy place to go mm. and uh, definitely definitely warrants the um, the reviews and the, um, the recommendations from mm -hmm. travellers and uh, Cambodians alike. If we come here again, I would probably get the three-day pass mm. um, yep. because... We were sort of a little bit like, oh, it's a temple, like, we'll be fine, we'll just get the one day pass. But now that we've been here and seen it, I'm kind of like, you need three days. Yeah, you look on the map of where mm. Ang like Angkor Wat is, um, the main temple, and it looks big. And mm. then when you're actually there and you realise how much bigger the grounds are around it mm. and how big you think Angkor Wat is compared to how big the rest of it is, mm. you really start to appreciate just the sheer size and scope of this place. Yep. This uh, ancient uh, temple city. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Mm hmm I just wish it wasn't so hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tuk Tuk Driver has just dropped us off at Bayon Temple, which looks, once again, you won't believe it, absolutely incredible. Yeah. Um, doesn't look quite the size of uh, Uncle Wat, the uh, main temple there, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty spectacular. So we'll go in there and uh, just see what they've got, see what they've got to offer here. Yeah, mm. for sure. Um, the Tuk Tuk Driver said to, after we go to this temple, he's going to take us to a local restaurant to have some lunch. So, yeah. yeah, it's awesome. Like, it's so nice. Yeah, it's good. It's like he's uh, pretty much our driver for the day. So, mm. yeah, good little um, setup they got going here. So, yeah. we'll head inside, uh, check it out, and then uh, get some lunch because I don't know about Sarah, but I'm hungry <laughs> as all hell. Okay guys, so when you go to a temple, any temple pretty much in Southeast Asia for that matter, make sure you adhere by the dress code. So for women it's t-shirts, covering the shoulders and covering the knees. For men, some temples you have to cover your shoulders, for others it's Just pretty... Just your knees. It, there's signs up everywhere as well, um, they'll tell you before you come in. And if you do your own research, you'll know. So yeah, mm. it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward stuff. You don't want to be getting, traveling all the way to a place and being turned away because you're not wearing the right things. Mm. Of course, they'll sell all the things that you need at the markets just outside. Um, you can pick up a pair of ele elephant pants if you'd like or a, <laughs> a nice cotton shirt like Sarah's. Yeah. But um, yeah, just do some research. Um, and yeah, all temples, they have a dress code, so just make sure you adhere to them. Mm. Um, and it's just about being respectful in another country, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? for sure. Bayon Temple done. 
quite the feat of architecture, especially from when it was made. So much detail in that uh, in that stone there. Pretty yeah. amazing. Now we are headed off to Taki. Oh, ta to Taprom. I think it's called Taprom in the same complex. Uh, this is where we're going to get some lunch, see something, and then um, although this place is absolutely amazing. Hopefully it's home time after that. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a bit tired. It's about it's nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. It's hot. And so that's about hot. it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, so we've just arrived at Tao Ta Kio Khmer Food, mm. which is uh, the restaurant the Tuk Tuk driver has taken us to. Uh, as I said, it took about 15 minutes from uh, the, the Bayon, yeah, Bayon Temple. Um, and yeah, prices are pretty decent. I'll show you the menu. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, looks like a nice little place. Obviously, mm. looks like um, you know these people probably in cahoots kind of thing. They'll take a tuk tuk driver will take them to their specific uh, restaurant. But yeah, no, these a good selection here, decent price, and um, yeah, nice location. Yeah, nice and cool. You got some shade, which is um, much welcomed in, yeah. uh, in the heat at the moment. So. Yeah. Yeah. So it's quarter to quarter to two in the afternoon. I have. My day has consisted of one black coffee and a single slice of white toast. Yeah. So as you can imagine, I'm a little bit hungry. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see how the food goes. We'll show you when it comes out, give it a taste test, and uh, see if this is a place that uh, you might you might be interested in uh, visiting. Okay, cool. So we just uh, finished the meal. It was pretty good. Um, mine was a Cambodian dish. I am still a bigger fan of Thai food, I must say, but it's still very nice. Yeah, I've been enjoying the Cambodian food. Their curries are really good. Like, they just not so spicy. much flavor. Yeah, not spicy, just a lot of flavor. So, no. yeah, they're really good. Yeah, yeah, both serve with rice. Um, mm. Price wise, yeah, not too bad. Uh, what was the total? About 14 bucks. So just under 50,000 uh, Cambodian real. Mm. Uh, for two meals, two drinks. Um, so yeah, wasn't um, wasn't as much of a tourist trap as I was expecting. Yeah. But uh, nevertheless, good food, we're sorted, and now mm. we just have to find our tuk-tuk driver. He may still be eating, he may be having a nap in the hammocks, who <laughs> yeah. knows? True. But True yeah, on. we'll see how we go. And then mm. uh, I think, unfortunately for me, we're seeing one more thing here. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. I yeah. think it's the, um, the temple with the trees growing in it. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah, it should, uh, it should be pretty beautiful. So yeah. yeah, we'll go check it out and uh, then we'll go home and rest up. <laughs> okay guys, we have arrived at the final destination, <laughs> but not that kind of destination. No, we're at uh, Taprom, which is the third and final uh, place we're going to visit on our day trip to Angkor Wat. Yeah. Uh, this place looks by, or looks really beautiful. Judging by the pictures, it is the one with, or one of, I don't know, mm -hmm. one of many, the one that has uh, trees growing through it, tree roots and stuff. So we'll head in, we'll have a look, um, but I think it's gonna be pretty special to look at.
So if you guys didn't know, all these ruins, all these temples, they're actually big Lego sets and these are the missing pieces that they haven't yet put together. So yeah, bit of, bit, bit of a way to go but uh, I think they'll get it done soon. <laughs> Ooh. 